due diligence in real estate. Don't go anywhere and I'll tell you why it's important and what you need to know about it. Hi, my name is Elena Kavrigian. I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker King here in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm so glad that you discovered this video. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't have to miss another video. So what is due diligence in real estate? Due diligence period is an amount of time a buyer gets to inspect the property. And I'm not talking just going and visually taking a look at the property because there's no way you as a buyer can discover all the defects that the property might have. I'm talking about hiring a professional inspector who can find every little imperfection or a defect that can be part of the property. Due diligence period can last anywhere from one week to all the way up to the closing day. It's all negotiable and it's in the contract that your realtor will put together and present to the sellers. The timeframes for due diligence will be in the contract and will be accepted by all parties before it can begin. Due diligence period is also a time for you as a buyer to decide whether you want to proceed and close on the property after all the inspections are done, whether you want to renegotiate some of the terms, including the price, if you find some defects, or you want to walk away from the property. All these decisions must be done before the end of due diligence period. If you decide to walk away from the property after the due diligence period ends, even if it's one minute after that time, you're running the risk of losing not only your earnest money, but being in the breach of a contract. Your realtor should be making sure that you meet all the deadlines and that you understand exactly when your due diligence period ends. Due diligence money, on the other hand, is an amount of money, and that can be any money or no money at all, that the buyer offers a seller to temporarily take the house off the market and conduct all those inspections. If you end up closing on the property, this money will be credited back to you at the closing. In the event the buyer decides to walk away from the property during due diligence period, the buyer loses their due diligence money. There's only two reasons a buyer can get their due diligence money back. First one, if the property burns down. Second, if the seller breaches the contract. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, put thumbs up below, leave a comment and share it with your friends.